Do you ever find yourself in front of your computer, you have like a thousand tabs open, you have your editor open with the code in front of you, and you can't figure it out. You can't solve your problem. Honestly, that's like very common. I think that you could even say that this is a requirement to becoming a software developer. So for that reason, in this video, I'm going to give you some tips that you can apply literally right now so that whenever you get into that situation, you can get out of it as quickly as possible and go back to being a senior developer. So this actually happened to me and it happened to me not that long ago. I was basically working for a client and I had to implement, I remember this like it was yesterday, I had to implement an image with a simple caching function. Functionality. Now, this is really simple. It's a simple feature to implement, and we also had a library that would do this automatically for us. Yet, somehow, I couldn't figure it out. No matter what I did, what I tried, I couldn't figure it out and I couldn't get the cache to work. Every time that the image was loaded in the browser, it would always load it and ignore the cache. I'm sure that you can relate, right? I think we all can. When you're faced with something like this, it's very easy to kind of get annoyed at the thing that it's not working when it should. And it's also very easy to let it get to you and get discouraged by it. And that's actually the first step and my first tip. You have to understand that this is something that is normal and it can happen to anyone at any time, no matter the skill level. You could literally be the best React developer on the planet and you can still find yourself having to Google how to center a div and then not figure it out because for some reason it's just not working. This doesn't mean that you're a bad developer. This doesn't mean that you don't know what you're doing. It just means that you're having a bad moment and that is just not your day, right? So don't take it personally. Realize that this is something that is very, very normal. Then you actually need to figure out some practical steps to solve your problem, right? Because the problem isn't going to solve itself. You need to figure out if this is a real problem, which means that you're lacking some information or you need to go out and figure something out to actually solve the problem. Or if this is you just having a bad day, which again is totally normal, but that means that there isn't inherently a real problem for you to solve. Now, in my case, with the image and the caching, that's exactly what I did. I first stopped, I took a break, I didn't take it personally, and then I started to think about the practical solution to my problem. Now, I knew that image caching was something that wasn't supposed to be complicated, right? Like image caching is super trivial, and we also had a component that would automatically do it for us. So because of that, I didn't really think that my problem was like a real problem in the sense that I had to figure something out, but rather that I was maybe missing something that may have been obvious. Now for you, this might not be the case at all. You very well might have a real problem that needs a real solution and actual time to implement it, right? That happens all the time. So if that's the case, then you need to go out and you need to figure out how would you solve the problem? What information do you need to solve this problem? Do you have to look at documentation? Do you have to ask on Stack Overflow? Do you have to ask on ChatGPT? If you're working in a company as part of a team, Team. Is there somebody else that you can go and ask to that might have better information to solve the problem? Because the worst thing that you can do is spend all of this time trying to figure it out on your own, banging your head against the wall, getting nowhere when the solution could have easily been found if you had just asked someone. It's your job as a software developer to be resourceful enough to figure out what you have to do to solve the problem. That's actually what a senior developer does. The more senior you are, the more you're able to solve complex problems independently and figure out your own solutions to them. Now, side note, if you're a React developer, you're actually in luck because you can ask me directly. That's right, I made a Discord that is completely free. It's made specifically for React developers and I will answer literally any question that you throw at me. If you're interested, it's the first link in the description. I would strongly, strongly recommend that you go and check it out. Now, in my case, I was completely alone. I unfortunately had no one to help me because I was the only developer on the project, so I had to find the solution on my own. And I essentially went back to the basics, right? Which felt a bit weird as a senior developer to have to go and watch simple basic tutorials on how image caching works. But I wasn't figuring out any other way, so I had to do it. And actually, that's also a great tip. If you still can figure it out at this point, what you should do is you should find some minimal version of the code you're trying to do that is actually working. So think, for example, you take an example from the documentation, take that, it should work, right? Obviously, if there's no bug in the documentation, and then build upon it one step at a time until something breaks. If you do it that way, chances are that as you're adding things to your working example, at some point, it's going to stop working and it's your job to kind of track where that happens. And then that is going to be your best indication as to what's actually going on. And you're going to see that as you do this more and more, as you grow as a software developer, you're going to get less and less of these difficult problems to solve, and you're going to start 
start to get a gut feeling as to what might be going on, right? You're not going to initially have a solution to the problem, but you're going to have a much better idea of where to look. And that only comes with experience. And that actually saddens me a bit because that's happened to me. I have less and less of these problems to solve, which is actually one of the reasons why I made a Discord so that now I can solve your problems instead. Now back to my image caching problem, I still hadn't solved the problem. I took the basics, I took the example from the documentation, I put it in my own code, and it wasn't working, and I still couldn't figure out why. Now at that point, it would have been really easy for me to take this personally, to get discouraged, to think that I was a bad developer, that I was never going to make it or become anything, but if I would have done that, I still will not have a solution to my problem. That's the opposite of what you should do. This actually has nothing to do with you, right? Either you're missing information, which you don't currently have, and if you would have that information, you wouldn't have this problem, which doesn't make you a bad developer, or you're having a bad day, which we've established is something that is totally normal, and that also doesn't make you a bad developer. So really, the most important thing that you have to do is not get discouraged, keep strong, give it time, and I promise you, eventually, you will figure it out. And honestly, speaking of time, if you still haven't figured it out by now, just sleep on it. Honestly, just take a break, go to bed, wake up in the morning and try again. Oftentimes you're gonna have a fresher perspective and you're gonna see what you've missed that was so obvious. That's actually how I fixed my problem. I went to bed, I couldn't solve it that night. And then the next morning I woke up and I realized that I had used the wrong library. There was a different library that we had installed that exported the same image component just without caching capabilities. So no matter what I did, no matter how much I tried to, it was never going to work because it was the wrong library. If you've enjoyed this video, you can click here to subscribe. I'm sure there's a video here that's super interesting to watch. I would highly recommend it. If you're not on the Discord, honestly, what are you doing? It's the best resource if you're trying to learn React. It's the first link in the description. With that being said, my name has been Aris Cousin. This is Cousin Solutions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao, ciao.